I take back everything. Kenzie and I don't okay. Yeah, so they're up. <laughs> In today's video, I thought we could do a challenge. I've seen this challenge around YouTube before and I kind of wanted to partake in it. So pretty much the very last person that I've seen do this is Katie from At Katie is Reading. If you don't follow her, go follow her. But I've seen her do this video, this challenge, and I was like, I want to do that too because I don't read consistently. I'm a very sporadic reader. Sometimes I can binge a book in one night and then other times it takes me like three weeks to finish one book so I thought for the next seven days give or take we may do five I don't know we would try to read 150 pages a day I'm probably gonna try to read more than 150 pages per day so really this is just kind of me seeing how many pages I can read in a day so the first book that I think I'm gonna start off with it's between two books so I've recently been wanting to pick up do you want to say hi to the vlog to the vlog. He's here now. It always makes me so uncomfortable when he's here, but it's fine. We'll keep going. So I've recently wanted to pick up this book. I think now is the perfect time because it's it's almost fall. It's got the fall ambiance on the cover. It's a really pretty cover. It's about 300 pages, give or take, and it's a pretty large book. But the other book that I kind of want to pick up is I kind of want to start the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've seen so many people rave about this series recently and say that it is so good. And I did read the first page <laughs> and I'm intrigued. So we may pick up the Naturals, but I'm thinking we're going to start with this first. So the Naturals may be a little bit later in this vlog. I also want to do Defy Me in this vlog. I need to finish the Shatter Me series. I'm going to talk about the Shatter Me series in a full video. Like, it's going to have its own thing. But I did want to mention with the Shatter Me series that the first three books were really, really good. I read two and a half books in a day. So I read the first one and then I came back to the series and I read the second and third one in one day. And then I read the fourth one in that same day. So about two and a half books in one day. But when we got to the fourth one, I just did not like the next section of the series because it was originally supposed to be a trilogy and I just don't like the books as much well I still like them but I don't like them as much as I did as much as I like the first three the second half the second three they're just not it for me I gave restore me a four star and I'm on defy me right now so I'm gonna try to finish defy me in this video that may be the reading plans for the week we'll see excited to see if I can actually read 150 pages every day for a week I've never done that before <laughs> so without any further ado and without any more babbling let's get on into the video I thought I would give an update because I'm about 50 pages into it and it's quite comical. I feel, I feel like it's really funny. So this book is pretty much about a girl named Mika. I think that's how you say her name. She's a witch, but in this world, witches are kind of rare. They don't really say that they're witches, so they kind of just keep to themselves. A lot of witches are not allowed like to live next to each other, that sort of thing. Mika poses online as a witch. She like pretends to be a witch. She's actually a witch, and I thought it was really funny that she post like I guess like TikToks or at least that's kind of what I'm imagining and I don't know why I just find that so funny <laughs> that she's like posting online pretending to be a witch I don't know I thought that was funny one day this person sees videos of her and he's like she looks like a witch because there are these little girls that live in this house with these other people 
and the house is called Nowhere House. Pretty much these girls are little witches. Mika has to go help them learn how to control their magic. The writing is really pretty too. I like the writing. It's a little bit slow. I'm on chapter three or four. The chapters are also really long, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on where I am right now. I'm enjoying it so far. guys so sorry in advance we're kind of having a major downpour right now so if you guys can hear the rain it's just a little ambiance okay <laughs> i have a haul i have a book haul i have some packages let's start with the packages so the first thing that i got is a new sheet set i wanted to get a beige because i need something more neutral for fall and winter so i thought this would be perfect so we're gonna test these out a little bit and then i got the first volume in the miraculous tales of ladybug and cat noir manga i'm excited to read this i have watched the first few episodes of miraculous so many times so i am really excited to read this and kind of see what it's all about so i the rest of the books that I have are from Book Depository except for a series that I bought I've got from Amazon. But let's go ahead and let's open this Book Depository box. Woo! Almost dropped it. They put this like weird film over it. I don't believe that they've done that the last time I got books from Book Depository. But it's been a little bit now since I ordered from them. I got something very exciting but also a little bit dumb because I already have this something. <laughs> so let's start with the thing that I thought was the goofiest of me to buy. I ordered the first three Throne of Glass books in the new covers. Why, I don't know, but I did. And I have all of the old covers. I don't know why I bought these. I may switch over to the new covers eventually. But they were a really, really good deal. Like these were $7 a piece. So I went ahead and bought these because they were haunting me. <laughs> and then I got Finley Donovan is Killing It. This is a thriller. And I think she's hired as an assassin. Yeah, she gets hired to be a hit woman but she's not a hit woman this kind of reminds me of the show good girls so i picked it up and then i also picked up a puff classic of winnie the pooh i picked this up because i loved winnie the pooh as a kid i think this is really really cute it's got art on the inside as you can see and i am over the moon about this. I am going to read this. Also from Book Depository, I got The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. I am excited to read this, but I don't think I'm going to like it as much as I thought I would. Um, may not be my favorite, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up to give it a try. The next book that I got is Garlic and the Vampire. This is a graphic novel. I love reading graphic novels in the fall, so I decided to go ahead and pick this one up, and I think it is so, so cute. I cannot wait to read this. I am going to save this for when it gets a little bit chillier outside. The next book that I picked up is The Vampire Diaries. It's actually a binding of The Awakening and The Struggle. I'm thinking about reading this in a video. I know that this is very different from the show, but I'm still excited to see kind of the origin to where the Vampire Diaries came from. The next book I got is The Thief. I got this book because Victoria Aviard talked really highly about this book, and I think that it'll be really good. This is a whole series, and this book is not that long. I think it's only like 300 pages, so I'm really curious about this book. I don't really know a lot about it, but I don't really also want to know a lot about it. So I went ahead and I picked this up as well. 
I got Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. I've heard this compared to Carval, which I am really, really excited to read because I did not like Carval, but I like the idea of Carval. So I'm hoping that this book will have a better reward and will actually be what I like because I did end up loving the Carval series as a whole, but I did not like Carval itself. So I'm really excited to read this. This is another great book for fall that I am hopefully going to pick up. The last couple books that I got are Fury Song and Flamefall. This, I got the whole series. Um, I've not read the first book, but I got the first book on Amazon. This series is supposed to be really, really good. I've heard it compared to, oh my god, I want to say Miraculous because I'm looking at the Miraculous manga. <laughs> People say if you liked Fourth Wing, you should read this series and I loved Fourth Wing. I gave it five stars. So I wanted to pick up this series. I have the first book over there on my TBR shelf. I picked up the, I don't know which one's the second, which one's the third. So I picked up the second and third book in the trilogy. Um, hopefully I like it because I bought the whole series, but we'll see. So I got a couple more books from Amazon too. The first book I got is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. She is the author of A Deadly Education and I've heard great things about that book. This book is a standalone and I heard The Library Leo. I think that's her name on YouTube. I don't know. I'll pop a picture up here. I'm really bad with names but I know Leo's in there. She recommended this book. She said that she really really loved this book and it's supposed to be like grim fairy tales. It's supposed to have like a grim fairy tale vibe. So I'm really excited to read this. I don't know exactly when I'm going to pick this up, but like I said, it, I'm pretty sure it's a standalone. I hope to pick this up soon. And then the last books that I got are the rest of the natural series. <laughs> I don't know why I picked up the whole series. I have no self-control when it comes to books that I hear good things about. I always just want to pick them up instantly. So I went ahead and picked up the rest of the series. So I have the naturals over there on my TBR shelf. Then we have Killer Instinct, which is the second book. We have All In, which is the third book. And then we have Bad Blood, which is the fourth book. The next thing that I also wanted to talk to you guys about is my update on how many pages I read. But I think we should change the locations real quick. Location change. Let me scoot over. Update on how many pages I read in the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I actually ended up finishing this book <laughs> last night. So I did read this in a couple sittings. I did take a break, but I did pretty much read it all last night. It was really, really good. In the end, I did read 316 pages. I'm pretty sure that's how many pages are in this book. And I loved it. It was so cute and so wholesome. So I'm going to give it 4.2 five stars. It was a really good fall read and I did really enjoy it. So now that this book is finished we are going to move on to the next book and I think it's going to be Defy Me. I think I'm going to try to pick up Defy Me and finish it. I'm not going to talk about this book too much because I know that this is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series so I don't want to give any spoilers away but I'm going to pick this book up and I'm going to try to finish it today. We'll see. I do, of course, want to get the 150 pages. We can hopefully get more. We can hopefully finish this book today. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning first and bookshelf organization. Um, and my camera battery is also flashing. So I will see you guys in just a bit when we are reorganizing my bookshelf.
is what we are currently looking like as far as the shelves go. Most of the changes happened at the bottom. So like down there I have two vertical stacks now. This I did change a little bit too. So change this shelf so I could fit Flame Fall and Fury Song. And then up top I put the Throne of Glass books. And then I also changed this shelf down here. I put the Inheritance Games up top. I'm missing the first book because I'm planning on reading it soon. And then I put Finley Donovan is Killing It. Um, the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. And then I have some more random thrillers on the bottom. And I moved the X-Hex and my more seasonal books. Well, my seasonal romance books up a shelf. And I made a little bit more room than what I had. Yeah, that's pretty much what we are looking like right now. I'm gonna hold my lampshade up. I wanted to update because I haven't updated you guys at all today and I am I'm just now realizing that I did not feel good yesterday so I did not update anything. I'm back today. I did read the 150 pages. I am actually a little bit over 250 pages now of Defy Me. I'm on page 200 so I'm gonna try to get back into this and finish this tonight and this one's pretty good so far. I know I I kind of talked about earlier that I didn't really like the extension that Tahira Moffy gave the trilogy. I think I may be changing my mind. I think I do like it. I just think I didn't like the first book but now that I'm kind of used to the newer format and things like that I feel like it is going a little bit better so I'm excited to finish the Shatter Me series as much as I am sad because this series has been on my TBR for so long I just feel like finishing it will be just kind of sad. <laughs> I just have the rest of this book imagine me and believe me. So I don't know how to feel depending on how this goes and depending on how excited I am for it I may either continue reading the Shatter Me series tonight or I may start the naturals I don't know I don't know if I really want to start the naturals tonight I don't know we'll see we'll see how I feel once I finish Defy Me I'm gonna turn on some fun vibey music and let's get back into reading Defy Me Okay, we we gotta talk. Um, so this book was so good. I take back everything that I said about the second half of this series because it was it's so good. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything but wow this book was really really good. Five stars. So I did end up doing how many pages is in this book? 357 pages so I am seven pages over the 150 pages for the day so I don't know if I want to start the next book because this one just ended off really really good I don't really want to pick up the naturals tonight so we may start the next one we may not read anything else tonight I don't know a uh, darling Desi posted a video and I've been watching her videos lately so that's maybe be what we're doing but I think this will be my last update for the night but wow if you guys have not thought about reading the Shatter Me series yet this is your sign this book was beautiful the first three books in the series were beautiful the fourth book was okay <laughs> go read it guys it is currently Thursday we've only got today Friday and Saturday left of this challenge I hate to say that I'm excited for this to kind of be over but <laughs> 
low key. I feel like I have been really into this challenge and I kind of want to take a break from reading, but we still got we still got some days left to go. So I did end up fully reading Defy Me last night or Imagine Me last night. I read 450 pages, so well over the 150. And I kind of want to talk about this book for a minute. Like I said, I am planning to do a whole sit down video where we kind of talk through the Shatter Me series, but I wanted to talk about this book because <laughs> Low key, I'm a little bit disappointed with the ending. I just, I didn't like this book. I really can't say much other than that because it was, it was just not what I wanted or what I was expecting. I really loved the end of Defy Me. Like, I really loved it. And then it's just like, heck broke loose right in the beginning of this book and it just caught me off guard and I was kind of caught off guard by this book ever since. <laughs> I feel like we got no closure and like Kenji carried this series. The second half of this series Kenji really carried and I love Kenji for that. Like go Kenji. That's this book. I ended up giving it four stars though. I still really recommend the Shatter Me series even though this book was not what I wanted. I still recommend that you guys go and read the Shatter Me series because it is so good. Especially the first three books and the fifth book were all five star reads. They were my favorites. I do recommend this series overall. I don't know what I want to pick up next. We might pick up The Naturals today. That might be on the list because I've been talking about The Naturals in this video so I feel like I should pick it up. I'll see you guys when I'm reading another book. <laughs> All righty, guys. I got a haul. I think I was here in the same spot or or or, or rear. I was here in the same spot earlier, but it's okay. I got a book haul. John is also here. He got himself an Xbox, and he's very proud of it. So, guys, give him a thumbs up that he got an Xbox. Leave a thumbs up. Um. So, quick update though before we get into the haul. I'm liking the natural so far. I think. I'm really gonna like the main character Cassie. I'm not too far into it. I'm only like 90 pages in. I'm on chapter 12. But so far she has went to like the place where she's gonna be like living and working and all that. They're seeing how she performs as a profiler. If you guys don't know what the series is about, it's about um, Cassie Hobbs. She is a natural. The naturals are a group of teenagers who can work for the FBI because of what they can do. Like Cassie's a natural profiler. There's another profiler. There's somebody that can tell um, who's lying and she's also a really good liar. And then there's someone that can read emotions and there's someone that's good with statistics. <coughs> they work for the FBI to solve serial killer cases, cold cases. So I really, really like it so far. We still, for the 150 pages, I still got about 60 pages left to go for today. So we can, we can get that done in no time. On to the haul. I'm really excited for these two books. They're both kind of for fall. So the first book that we have is My Roommate is a Vampire. I don't know what this is about other than it is a romantic comedy about a girl and I think she has to like find a roommate or something like that and it turns out that this roommate is a vampire. So it seems pretty interesting. It's kind of giving me the flat share vibes almost. The next book I got is Assistant to the Villain and this book I have seen literally everywhere. It's kind of popping off at least marketing wise the same way that fourth wing did so i kind of really hope that this book blows up like fourth wing did I, I know that she gets hired by a villain and it's like a grumpy sunshine type thing too this is a first edition so with the first editions they all have these red sprayed edges and i'm obsessed with this cover like how sick is that that's really all i got for this update i'm gonna keep reading the naturals and so far so good okay let's go over here because it's better lighting over here right now okay so good morning it is now friday 
September 1st. Happy September. I think I'm posting this video like mid-September, so hello. <laughs> How's September going for everybody? I am going to sit down today and I'm going to film a few videos. That's like first on the list is we're going to film a few videos and then I'm going to read more. But I finally have some makeup on for you guys. I don't wear makeup a whole lot, but when I sit down and do my like talking, like looking at me for 30 minutes videos, I normally like to do some makeup, so we did some. I did end up reading, I don't have the naturals over here with me, naturally. Last night, I did read 150 pages of the naturals. I didn't finish it like I thought I was going to. I thought I was gonna finish it like this. I did not. I only read the 150 pages and we're lucky that I did that because I almost forgot to read the book. So bad on me. But I, I did it. I read it. It was, it's fine. It's going fine. It's a little bit me. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I like the writing style. I like the characters i like the little like group that we're introduced to so overall i am liking this story thus far so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna film my videos and then i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna finish the naturals today and then we'll come back and we'll do some other fun things in a bit and by fun things i mean reading obviously my hair kind of looks a little curly how cute okay guys <laughs> so me here like nine days later filming an outro to this video so i actually did not end up finishing the naturals in that video actually that's a lie i did end up finishing the naturals but i actually ended up getting sick i was literally sick filming that last clip that you just seen so i decided to do instead of like a seven day week i would do just a five day work week instead so that's what we did. We read from Sunday until Thursday. So I'm here to kind of give you guys the totals of what I read each day. For reading 150 pages a day for a week, on Sunday I read 316 pages. On Monday I read 200 pages. On Tuesday I read 157 pages. On Wednesday I read 450 pages. And on Thursday I read 150 pages. So every Every single day I did go over the goal of reading 150 pages. I would call this a pretty successful video. I'm sorry I didn't go all the way reading on Friday and Saturday. I just when I get sick I just don't feel like reading anything so we didn't. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my shatter me tangent that I went on. Comment down below what books you would like me to read in the future if I do another one of these videos and should I up the page count to 200 or even 250 pages don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload a video I upload a video every single Sunday but if you turn on that post notification bell you will be notified right when I upload and you can be one of the first people to the party <laughs> And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. I don't always think about you, but sometimes I do.